Hello Commanders, this is just a quick one, um, everyone never talks about it, I don't think I've seen a video particularly about this, there may well be one out there, but I just thought I'd quickly share this anyway. Um, my next system is going to be a Neutron Star, I believe. Um, yes, a Neutron Star. Okay, so how do you approach a system with a neutron star? Well, it's this simple. Uh, obviously, you are in a system that you're going to jump from, and you're gonna to jump to a neutron star. The best way to ensure that you don't suffer any damage is firstly, start your countdown to your jump. As soon as the countdown begins, move your throttle to zero especially if you're not really paying attention if you're doing lots of exploring okay countdown starts my throttle has now been set to zero although the HUD hasn't updated my throttle is now at zero so I don't need to touch any controls now and when I come out the other end you will see that I will come to a complete stop uh, somewhere near the front of the right front of the neutron star it always tends to be over to the left, right, up and down. In fact, I think that's it there. Right there in the middle of my display. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> see, that's how I see it. Now, 0.22 light seconds is about um, the normal distance you'll come out, depending on the mass of the neutron star. You don't want to get much closer than that. As you see, my heat is already at 39, and I'm currently flying an anaconda. Um, if I just bring that down to 19 light seconds, look at the heat building already and in fact it's gone to 18 light seconds now really don't want to get any closer than that so the next thing that you want to do once you've arrived in your system with the main neutron star and you're pointing at it is watch the radar on the left and move the white dot down to the bottom or top whichever way you want to go until it turns hollow once it's hollow you can then safely move away from the neutron star without risking getting any closer. Okay, you can see now I'm moving away. And I'm now at 28, 29, 30 light seconds. I'm now in a good place to be. Now I do that, and the reason I do that is to make sure that I don't get distracted and go off because you will slowly approach the neutron star if you do not um, point away from it. Um, even on zero throttle, as you can see, I'm still doing 30 kilometers a second. Uh, so you will ultimately, if you get distracted, end up in the neutron star. Not a good place to be. Uh, so there you go. That's how you deal with uh, warping into a neutron star system. And the same applies, of course, for a black hole system. And that's it. Thanks for watching and fly safe. Bye.